Hey everybody, welcome. Happy, happy Tuesday. This is Timmy. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. Excuse me, just finished my dinner. Still have some food stuck in my throat, I think. And I am coming to you live with another fun project from our beautiful new fall winter uh, catalog line. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. Hey, Cheryl, so nice to see you. We finally have connected with each other live. It's great to have you here. So um, tonight I am going to be working with um, a part of our transfer that is called our seasonal welcome sign. And what's really awesome about this particular design is that there are four different designs, each of which fit on our gorgeous nine by nine wood sign. Now, you'll know that if you've watched me before, that this is one of our double-sided surfaces, meaning we can chalk on either side. If you were watching my page a little bit earlier, oh, I don't think I posted it yet. Take that back. I have a video to show you. I don't think I posted it yet that I already did one side. Sister is calling me, so I just hung up on her. Sorry, Annie, if you're watching. Um, so we were gonna, we have the Welcome Christmas on this side, which um, this is a wood side that I painted uh, with our black chalk paste that we watered down, and then we put the design on here using white, gold, and a little bit of uh, shimmer crimson. But on this side, it's a whitewash side. And that's the side that we're going to use to create with our second part of this sign called Welcome to Our Patch. Now, I like this a lot because our nickname, being a Pacioretty, are the patches. So although we don't quite spell it that way, it kind of makes me think we're welcoming folks to us. Now, if you're curious about the other two designs that come with this awesome seasonal welcome sign transfer, we've got this one for our Halloween lovers. I know this transfer is really awesome, isn't it, Cheryl? I am going to have so much fun, I think, creating with these. Um, this one is Welcome to Our Web, Ghosts and Goblins, Spooks Galore. So I am not a huge Halloween decor lover, but if I do do Halloween, it's more like this, kind of fun, right? And not very scary. I'm not a big scary person. And then another winter one, this one says Welcome Winter. So you can create on both sides of this surface, and you can choose what's going on either side or both sides. So if you want to do Christmas on one side and winter on the other, or you want to do the fall on one side and Halloween on the other, or if you want to be like me and switch it up, you totally can. So that's what's fun about this. Um, we are going to, as I said, use uh, the Welcome to Our Patch. And I've got a bunch of colors here. Hold on. I'm going to just remove that voicemail notification there and get it out of my way. And I have all my shimmers out because this one seems to be screaming, use the shimmers. And we have some beautiful shimmer paste for the holiday season, for the fall season. The gorgeous and brand new shimmer pumpkin. So that's really fun. Hello, Miss Edie. I see you're watching. Nice to have you here, my friend. Now, the last time I used this, it was when we were playing with our Hello Pumpkin design, and I only had a little paste single, but I've gotten my order in since then, and now I have a three-ounce jar, so lots of goodness here to play with. So I'm just going to do my best to save all of what got on the top of that lid and put that little over there. And then we have Shimmer Harvest. So this is a really pretty kind of yellowy shimmer. I know, I love all the box frames too. And the little ones, if you guys didn't see our little um, three by three box frames, these are sold in a pack of four. 
and they are so stinking cute. They work really well with our little minis. Um, and we even now sell these little adhesive magnets so you can just stick it on the back and then use this as a magnet. When we went to our show this weekend, I actually brought this tray along and sold magnets because I, I stuck them to the tray. So this coming weekend, we have another event and um, it is a Christmas in July event. Here's the Shimmer Crimson, so that's kind of a red sparkle. And then I have Shimmer Olive, and that is like a green sparkle, kind of a lighter green. And we do have a Shimmer Spruce, which is a darker green. And then I also do have my Handy Dandy Gold. So, hello Miss Susan, welcome, welcome. Susan, one of our newest designers on our team. Great to have you here. So I've got my fuzzing cloth and I have our design here. And of course, just remember, we wanna peel back the design from the transfer sheets. I'm at Steve yelling at the dogs. If you can hear him in the background, he's trying to get those guys to settle down for the night. They're a little crazy. So uh, we're just gonna take our fuzzing cloth. I can put that here so you can see what I'm doing. And we're just loosening the adhesive a little bit on the back of this design so that it'll pull up easier when we finish chalking. The big key for me will be figuring out which colors to use where. I thought these leaves at the top would be really fun to alternate some colors maybe have a red and a yellow and an orange leaf. What do you think? In the top? Of course, our pumpkin's gonna be orange. And a little twirly thing, little twirly part of the pumpkin. What's that called? Not the stem, but the little twirly thing. Oh, I think the rain's gonna start here. Storms are over coming. And then we have this outside edge. So, where should we start? Always the question, right? Now, I like to use, as you probably know, a clean squeegee for each color so I don't have to stop and clean my squeegee in between. But if you don't have multiple squeegees, no problem. You can just clean them in between. No biggie. And, you know, the other thing, other tool I'm going to grab is this one right here. This is our multi-tool, and it's also a squeegee. So we can use this to um, get into some of the more little detailed areas if we need it. And we have one other tool, it's called our detail tool. And that too can be used um, for those little spaces. And I'm gonna grab one more tool just in case. And this is a little tip tool, kinda looks like a paintbrush. And this came from, I think it might be, the crazy rain and thunder that's hitting that I might be going in and out. So if I lose you, hopefully I'll be able to show you when it's done. <laughs> All right, so we know we want this to be, I think I'm gonna do welcome to our patch in the gold. And I think here we're gonna do some of our leaves. So let's start with an orange leaf. Oh yes, it's pouring now out here. Is it raining where you are? If you're watching me, I'd love to know. Yes, yeah, Cheryl, I'm sorry I keep... Uh... going in and out. I sometimes wonder if it, my internet connection is not so happy up here in my studio. So then my first leaf is orange. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this Shimmer Harvest. That's that yellow for the next leaf. Actually, you know what, I think I'm gonna do this leaf in the Shimmer Harvest. I think I'm gonna do the next one in red. I want that one to kind of really pop. And I'm trying necessarily not to get the line because I think I'm going to do that 
in gold. What if it runs over a little? No. No biggie. No. All right, so we have our... No. We have the pups misbehaving. Can you hear them? Steve's going, no. <laughs> so they must be misbehaving. The rain is crazy beating against the windows. So if you wanted to make this all one color, you so totally could. It would be gorgeous just in one beautiful shimmer color, or even two. You could totally decide. You can also blend the colors when they get close to each other, just using your finger. And I think I'm gonna make the orange, that last one orange too because I'm just loving this beautiful shimmer pumpkin. So when this dries, that shimmer will come out even more glimmery. So if you like a little bit of shimmer, you're gonna love these shimmer pastes. They are worth every penny. And these three ounce jars, they really do last for a very long time. Since we've got our shimmer pumpkin loaded up, I'm gonna go ahead and do our pumpkin. And this is the mini squeegee, by the way, that I'm using. And I think we're gonna use this shimmer harvest down here for the words. It says, Autumn market, you pick pumpkins 50 cents. That's what that little word there says. I'm also, I think, going to use this pretty color for our stem. And since that is a little detailed area, I think I'm going to use my little detail tool there for the stem and then I think I'm going to use this little guy with the green a little curly cue there we go so we've got all of that done and now we just have welcome to our patch and we have the outside edge to do and that's it that's how fast this is so i think we're going to do both of those just using our gorgeous gold so you could alternate colors here if you wanted maybe if you wanted to make the to our patch and that pretty green you could but I think I'm going to keep mine all gold. Now the shimmers do take a little bit longer to dry, I noticed, so we shouldn't really have to worry about working too fast or the paint, paste drying on us before we're ready. But you do want to make sure that the paste does get through the screen and sometimes you need to push a little bit, especially since there is some um, glitter built into this paste. So your squeegee is really meant for you to push the paste. Ooh, can you hear that? <laughs> push the paste into the screen. It looks like I've lost a few of you guys. It might be that I am really freezing up. So I hope that's not the case. But if it is, hopefully you can catch the replay. And I'll be sure to post a picture, of course, when we're done, if you want to see the finished project. So I'm just what I'm working on here. So I put a little bit more on than I need. So I can squeegee off the excess. Got a lot here in my squeegee. Can pull that off. And 
and the best part get to and my little detail tool is usually great to grab a corner underneath there's like a little pointed edge there and then here we go watch this it is one of the best parts I think just peeling back and seeing the gorgeous design left and look at that yay let me put this over here what do you think were our color choices good I hope you like them so here we go so we've got our fall on one side and on the other side we've got this beautiful Christmas saying so super easy super quick right it didn't take very long at all and you've got a sign that's beautiful for you to display at your home or to give as a gift makes a great hostess gift or a housewarming gift um, if you like this project and you want to know how it is that you can get um, a bundle to create this be sure to check out my VIP group and let me know you're interested in this bundle and I will send you a special link so that you can grab it until we see each other again I hope you have a wonderful evening stay dry and I'll talk to you soon bye